Some of these chip stocks have just gone crazy. Um, you said, you know, we talked about AMD, right? It was up 80% in three months. You're like, I, I got to get out of this. This is just insane. Arm today is up 38%. Now it has a bigger market cap than Micron. You tried to buy it uh, this morning, Bill, got yep. away from you. But Christina Partsinevelos is with us now to take a look at chips gone wild because they have since November 1st. And there are a whole group of them that have years worth of gains. Yeah, very true, especially when you, let's start with ARM because that's the first one you mentioned. The takeaway from that result is AI demand actually translating into reven, revenue dollars, so monetization. And we see that with the uptick in data center demand and improvements in royalties. That's why the stock is up, what, 58 percent just over the last two days or so. Um, this jump shows, and it's, by the way, it's not necessarily good for competitor Intel at the moment, but it shows us what investors really want, the next wave of AI winners beyond NVIDIA. NVIDIA... Investors still love it, they, but there's concern that there may not be enough upside post earnings on February 21st, especially with these supply constraints, which would limit revenues. That's why you had so many people trimming NVIDIA just over the last little while. Morgan Stanley highlighting the concern of supply, even though their price target's 750 bucks for NVIDIA. NVIDIA, the top holding in the Vanex Semi ETF, which, by the way, today hitting an intraday high. I want to pivot, though, to the other AI winners. Monolithic Power, a great example of another AI play. Shares are are up uh, double digits, 16 percent today post earnings. They help make the power circuits for data centers. Arista Networks, another name, up today. Earnings are out early next week. They help with connecting GPUs. And then you also have the recent cloud CapEx comments. I know, Josh, you spoke about this yesterday at 3 p.m. on Closing Bell. That's helping keep the momentum going. The world is actually set to spend 800 and 800, $180 billion in AI CapEx in 2024, driven by the deep pockets of Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet. You can even throw an Amazon in there. So it's an arms race to create the quickest AI system. And why we've seen, to your point, Scott, the non-NVIDIA names like AMD, TSMC, big highlight there, really soaring just within the last month, 26%. You can see on your screen uh, since January 2nd, Marvell, another huge name, up 20%. So it's the search for names beyond NVIDIA right now. Yeah, which we've been, you know, trying to look for. Uh, Christina, thank you. Christina Partsinevel is like Taiwan Semi, Bill, is a good example of that. I mean, its market cap is almost $600 billion, I think. It's marched up the ladder of market cap over this, this period of time. You own a lot of these names, yeah. right? You own Micron, who just gets passed, uh, as, as we said, by ARM. NVIDIA, we, we suggested. AMD, Synopsys. Yes. How do you view these? Synopsys is, uh, is our number four holding. Um, it, it's, I mean, they design electronic design automation for every relationship with every uh, name here, NVIDIA, down the line, uh, Intel. Um, I mean, really, just more about stock, prudent stock management, prudent portfolio management. I mean, you know, two weeks ago, trimming AMD and NVIDIA by one third, um, dropping them to about nine and 10 in the portfolio, raised quite a bit of cash, has been able to invest other places where we keep on the sidelines. But NVIDIA has marched back up to number four just in the last two weeks. So it's just continuing to do that. And I've been doing that for over a year now, just, just continuing to manage these names. But I, I think when everybody focuses on the multiples that are just exploding higher, really, it's, tech isn't about what are you doing for me today. It's about what are you doing for me three to five years down the road. I mean, in just 2026, multiples are, are more than are, are half of what these are trading at now, maybe a third of what they're trading at right now. So I, that gets me excited for the revenue that's being generated. The hyperscalers are monetizing AI and, and the picks and shovels are, are seeing that and they're going to continue to grow.